I have here my Western Digital SATA hard drive. Recently, my computer has not been booting up. I decided to do some research on how much it costs to get it repaired and how long. Turns out it's pretty expensive. Like we're looking about from a thousand to a few thousand dollars and obviously I do not have that kind of money. So I'm just gonna try to fix it myself. I watched a lot of YouTube videos on this and I'm pretty sure I got it. It doesn't seem hard at all. It seems pretty easy. So I know what I'm doing now. So let's get this show on the road. First, I'll start by taking off the hard drive's case. So I'm just gonna open my screwdriver tool here and take out this little buddy of mine. Insert. All right then. And we're gonna start with these small ones. Oh my God. It's all right, I got this. So they come up super easily. Always make sure you have a bowl. Put your screws in there. So this should be good. You don't want to lose these puppies because we need to put them back on. All right then. Oh, no, that one's kind of stuck. Let's try that again. There we go. Uh, now, there's actually holes in the other ones under these little stickers or holes. So we're just gonna do that too. I'm gonna just find the middle somewhere. Oh, I actually got it. I got it. Let's try. There we go. Not hurt at all. And the sticker comes off too, don't worry. It'll be fine, we'll put it back to normal. Oh, okay, you go there too. Yeah, you hear that clicking sound? That's what you need to hear. That's when you know you hit just the right spot when you hear that sound. All right, that's out too. This is the third one. Look at that, I'm a professional. What? I don't need these people to fix it for me. Taking it apart seems pretty easy actually, so we're good. Okay. And the fourth one. All right then. This is so easy. I mean, if I can do this, you can do this. I easily just found the center of it and there it is. Not hard at all. Now we have our last one. It's somewhere under this sticker. If I can, oh, there we go, I found it. That one was a little harder. I think I have to peel off the sticker. But I want to show you how easily you can access it. Stop moving. Nope, I'm gonna have to peel that sticker off. Yes, I am. Yes, I am. All right. Oh. I should have just done that in the first place. See, secret spot. Not a lot of people know about it, but luckily I do because I am YouTube qualified. All right then. So we're just gonna pull this off. No, wait. Break the seal. Oh, I got it. And voila, that's the inside. And as you can see, I'm fully prepared with my diagram. Okay, so this is what it looks like and I'm gonna show you exactly what it looks like when I plug it in and how it sounds like when you know it's not working. So it's already plugged in and I'm gonna turn it on now. Hear that? Yeah, that's not supposed to go like that. I'm pretty sure. So let's just turn that off. Unplug it. Oh, shit, I almost touched it. It's okay though, I have my cloth and my cleaning product there. Should be fine. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take this off, the actuator, and we're just gonna pop it out. It's a little hard. Oh, I got it, I got it. Don't worry, it's fine, it didn't get touched. No, it didn't get touched. And now we're gonna take this off, where the ribbons are, for safety. We don't wanna ruin the ribbons. Oh, I do go there. This one as well. That's out. Now we have just one little screw here before we can finish this product. Just gotta take it out. Oh, wait, nope, okay. That came out, that's fine. Don't worry about it. So in order to remove this disc, we need to clear this arm out. So we're gonna have to take out this rubber stopper, put it in there for safety. And now it's gonna go all the way back, see? 
but uh, we're not supposed to touch the disc, so I'm gonna use this cloth to stabilize it and take out these little screws right there. Yep, see it moved a little, so you really have to stabilize it. So I'm just gonna remove the plates so we can put another hard drive. Clean that up because it's touched it. So this is really good. I mean, if it cleans your TV, you can clean your plates, no problem. Okay, well, now we're gonna try to remove the other disc. There you go, safe spot. Easily comes out. Move the arm over. Oh, this will probably be easier. Like this. That comes out too. Little disc right here. There you go. Perfect. Now it's both there. And um, now that we're almost finally finished, I'm going to replace the plates onto this hard drive. And wait a minute. Um, that's not. That's not the same one. Okay. I'm just gonna put that away. And you know what, guys? Just, if it's really important, have somebody do it for you because in all honesty, I had no idea what the hell I was doing and I'm pretty sure that's the wrong diagram. It's not the same thing. So yeah, just, just make sure that somebody else does it for you like a professional and please don't listen to YouTube on how to do things like this.